they call me the negotiator. For two reasons. One, I fuck fat chicks and I'm proud of that. Two, I wanted to be called God Almighty himself, but everybody else wanted to call me dipshit. And some concessions were made on both sides and eventually we all agreed to call me the negotiator. Now today, I am going to help heal the rift between two different groups. I saw a video by Warcorp666 responding to the Femitheus Divine, and it made me think about how many MRAs, and especially MRA supporters, hate Krista and heap hate upon her. But I think to myself, how do I put it? Well, I'll just let, let you understand the negotiation business. See, people often have differing viewpoints and perspectives on the nature of reality itself, and people often won't be able to come to a consensus on any particular point of view. Skillful negotiation requires instead that we ignore what the perspective is and focus on action. Actions that will meet the goals of each side. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, this was about Chris's idea to reduce the male population of the world to 10%. I'm going to go even further and say 8%. Hear me out. One thing that I often hear from a, as an issue raised by MRAs that doesn't have a specific goal attached to it is male disposability. Well, how do you make males less disposable? Well, it's quite simple, really. If we were to reduce the birth rate of males artificially, I mean, we have the means with uh, amniocentesis and uh, RU486, I mean, already just that easy. If the population of males was only 8% or so, well, they could no longer be disposable. Our species could not afford to just throw their lives away like they were fucking nothing. Because at their current levels, you know, so many, it takes very few men to impregnate a great number of women. But once the number of males got down that low, we really just couldn't afford to say, hey, you know what, buddy, fuck you, we don't care. Every man would be precious. Every boy would be precious. Their lives would be as guarded now as women's lives are, or they'd be as guarded as women's lives are now. Okay, so male disposability, that'd be a big factor. Of course, part of this deal would require absolute outlaw of all sperm banks, the and the uh, research of artificial sperm technology and parthenogenesis technology. But I think that these are reasonable concessions. Now, another MRA issue. Uh, let's see. Uh, boys growing up being raised by women in femocentric environments that they can't thrive. Well, this is great because we can solve that problem and another at once. What we do is this remaining 8% men can exist within population centers. Population centers that it costs money for women to enter, mind you. Okay, so women will have their safe space. The entire fucking world, except for these little cities that men can live. It'll be sort of like we have our own reservation. Right? And we can't, we can't even leave. Trap the men in there. But think about this, men. Do you really want to go out there with all those women talking about the shoes and shit? Fuck that. Because we'll have like Xbox and basketball and, uh, you know, like, some weed, and, uh, you know, like, cars and shit. But anyway, I, I digress. So, just totally at random, one out of every ten males conceived will be allowed to be born, and then will go to the male population centers and can thrive in a male environment where the women can raise all of the female children, they can run all of the governments of the world, and, uh, you know, the men, they'll have their own, like, uh, magistrate for their population st centers and sovereignty over that. And not that I don't trust women, we will have massive defensive weapons to prevent a military incursion of these complexes because I just get the feeling that once men get to a small enough number, you know, there will be these factions of rabid, like, uh, man-haters who will be like, you know what, there's still too many of them, we gotta wipe that shit out. No, no, we gotta have the ability to vaporize people who try to come in with force, okay? But no offensive weapons, because I know how women are so very afraid of men. And that's another thing. Rape culture, not a thing, because you, because, I mean, well, one thing, the economy of these male population centers will essentially be subsidized by women who want to reproduce. 
and they will have to come in and romance men and spend money in these population centers. But that also means that only the most successful and productive women will have the ability to reproduce. See, one problem with the current system is any woman, even if she's totally unintelligent, untalented, unproductive, busted looking, she can find some chump to impregnate her five or six times. That's just how it is right now. We can fix this. We make it so that you have to be successful in order to reproduce just like men are these days, huh? A little role reversal, but it's not a total reversal. It's more like a correction of an imbalance that has been created by our evolutionary history, okay? Give it a few thousand years, maybe we can equalize the number of each sex again. Now, men. Here's a problem. Most of the successful women will be ugly, but you know what? Women have been marrying and fucking ugly ass rich dudes for all of history. Just because they're rich, it's our turn to take one for the team, plus as part of the deal, we will get sex robots. Alright, so uh, this seems pretty workable, doesn't it? Krista, you get what you get is uh, reduce the male population to 10, I'm going to say 8%, 8%. Okay? Women get to run the world, all of the governments. Men, you, men are no longer disposable. All of the hard work, we won't have to do it because we will have our economy supported by the dollars of women looking to get fucked to have children. And, and, women have always wanted, what I always hear from fem feminists, regular feminists, is like, oh, you know, women need to be empowered and strong and in control of their own destiny. Well, here's the thing. Strength is derived from hardship. It is derived from a chance of dying. It is derived from a chance of losing and failing, okay? Now, once women are out in the world having to dig the ditches and, you know, string up the power lines and, you know, just do all sorts of shit that could possibly kill them, they will get tougher okay? They will get better, they will get stronger, they will become more assertive, they will become less afraid because those will be the ones that get the money and get fucked in the male population centers. And given time, we could have equality of the sexes. MRAs, Krista, you're really on the same side. Why don't you kiss and make up? The only thing I ask as a fee for negotiation is that one, I get to be one of the primary breeders. Two, all mangina types such as P.Z. Myers have their entire genetic line expunged from existence because their weakness just disgusts me. I think we can all agree on that. Krista, MRAs, everybody? Everybody happy? Alright. Have a nice night.